Welcome back to the Lights Out podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls for when the lights go out. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all tucked up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight because tonight is night seven in awesome author August. And we're in for a real treat with a book called Cutie Sue and the Darkness by Kate Melton. Once upon a time, there was once a girl who was curious and fun. She loved to be active and play in the sun. Her real name was Susan, but her dad called her Cutie, maybe because of her lovable beauty. Her brother was Charlie and he called her Sue. Her mom had a nickname for little Sue too. As she'd take an adventure before any toy, her mommy would call her my darling tomboy. She loved being active and hated being bored. She played with a brother whom she just adored. She had such a bright and inquisitive mind and went on fun quests with her brother behind. They loved to explore dusky woods or a cave. Some places looked scary, but Sue was so brave. She feared almost nothing except for one thing. She hated the nights and the darkness they'd bring. I don't want to sleep, she would say to her dad, and sit on her bed feeling frightened and sad. She'd pick up a blanket and use it to hide, and every small noise would make her jump petrified. One evening, her daddy said, I know that you're scared, but you are so strong. You'll be fine, he declared. I am, agreed Sue. I can fight any fear, her mommy replied. We will help you, my dear. They asked her to draw what would make her feel scared. They went through every worry and showed that they cared. They gathered her pillows and throw of all sorts and used them to build up a den with a fort. They covered her eyes and played hide-and-seek. It was the most fun Cutie Sue had all week. They looked at film strips, cuddled up with a light, and chose her toy dino to guide her all night. I'm brave now, she said. I don't need you to stay. So she laid on a bed and drifted away to sleep. She dreamt of sweet fairies with beautiful wings, of colourful rainbows and nice happy things. Her room went so quiet, so mom had a peep, and felt very proud to see her fast asleep. Please teach me, said Charlie the following day. I want to be brave. So she taught him the way. The End Wow, that was a great book on how not to be scared of the night and the darkness and the imagination that might keep you awake. But if you get the help from your parents, maybe you can make a den and not be scared of anything again. See you tomorrow for Day 8 in Awesome Author August. And remember, if you have any books that you'd like to be read, just leave a comment and I'll get right to it. See you tomorrow. Good night.